This palette can pretty much do your entire full face, but is it actually worth the 88 bucks? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be seeing if I can accomplish a full face of makeup with this HD Forever Skin Palette. I've never tried this palette before in my life. I've actually not tried anything from the Makeup Forever brand before. So this should be really fun. I am so excited. Apparently you can get contour, bronzer, blush, highlight, concealer, and foundation with this entire palette. And I actually wanna see if it's worth it. This palette was $88 and to be honest, it is a little pricey, but you also get all of the face products with it. But at the same time, if the blush or the concealer or just one product is really good in here and the rest are kind of a flop, what is the point of spending $88? So I actually wanna test this palette out as a whole and see if the entire thing is worth the $88 because if it is, this is super convenient. You can just bring this with you and you pretty much get a full phase of makeup from this. The entire palette is absolutely gorgeous and I just cannot wait to try this out. I went to Sephora today, I purchased it. Like I said, $88, pretty pricey, but at the same time, if everything is good, you get a full face of makeup pretty much for 88 bucks, which is actually not that bad. Oh wow, my headband is pretty dirty on this side, so let's put it on the cleaner side. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with the e.l.f. Power Grip. This is the one primer that has never done me wrong. It works with every single makeup product ever. I also did do my skin prep before this, just so I can give it the best shot I possibly can. The face is primed. I guess the first thing is foundation. These are the foundation shades, and I'm pretty sure, I'm guessing, I'm gonna have to mix a couple shades, but we will see. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them on my face. Oh wow, okay. That one, too orange. Okay, that is... <laughs> wow. Okay, maybe I should just do the lightest shade. That's too light. Okay, so yeah, we will definitely have to mix here. So far, the formula is really thick. Okay, it's very creamy, actually. It's like a thick creamy kind of formula. This is actually gonna take forever. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit here and just do this for as long as I need to. Now I'm just gonna get my brush and kind of blend it out. Okay, yeah, that's a lot easier if I just put it on the brush. So far, it's actually pretty glowy. Like it's not a super matte formula, which is what I appreciate, but it is a very messy kind of palette. It is kind of annoying having to mix them, but at the same time, it is a very convenient palette to just have on hand. If you don't want to bring your whole makeup bag with you, I guess it would be very handy just to have. Ooh, okay, I actually really like this. I want to say it's pretty medium coverage, if anything medium to full, I wanna say. Wait, that's actually super pretty. Ooh, the only thing is, is that it took me forever. I wanna go ahead and do bronzer, so I think this shade would work really nice. It's like a warm kind of shade. Ooh, wait guys, hold on. I really like this. It blends so nicely too. Wow, did you see how nicely that just blended in? I'm also gonna be doing concealer after because you can see my eyes are pretty dark right now, but I'm just gonna do the bronzer first and then I'm gonna move on to concealer. That's actually so pretty. Wait, guys, I really love this. Formula-wise, I think they are all exactly the same. I almost wanna say that the bronzer is a little more creamier. I don't know, that could just be me and I'm just making that up. Let's move on to concealer. I'm obviously gonna be using the lightest shade for this and I'm just gonna use my Makeup by Mario brush to dip in. I don't love it as a concealer, honestly. I think I much prefer it as a foundation. I'm gonna layer a little bit more on to see if you can build it up. Ooh, okay, wait, that builds up really nicely. Wow, okay. It feels a little less hydrating under the eyes, but I don't really wanna knock off points for that because my under eyes do tend to get pretty dry anyway. It's actually not even creasing either. What do you guys think? Honestly, I'm kind of like 50-50. It's weird that they're all the same formula, but at the same time, I really enjoy it. I don't know, this is so weird. But now let's go ahead and move on to blush. We're gonna go ahead and fix up the eyes and stuff a little bit later, but for right now, I'm so excited for blush. 
There's this like highlighter blush. These are the highlighters. And then they also have this other pink coral kind of blush. I think it would be fun to use the coral one and then layer it with the other one. Ooh, wait, that's so pretty. Wait, that's actually stunning. Hold on, I really like that. Now I wanna take this pinker shade because this has some glitter particles in it. It adds a little bit of a sheen to it, I wanna say. Maybe not so much as like a super glittery highlighter moment, but it does add like more shine to the face. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on to highlighter. I really wanna try out this shade right here. Oh, this one feels so much creamier than the other formulas. Ooh. That's stunning. Yeah, definitely not a highlighter. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. It is a highlighter, but it's more like a balmy kind of consistency. I wanna try the pink one on this side. At the same time, it like kind of disappears into the skin. I'm just gonna tap my beauty blender in just to kind of get rid of the harsher lines on the side, make sure everything's blended in. Cause this is just all cream formula. It does look very dewy, but that is cream. So, I mean, it's kind of a given, but I really wanna try some of these other shades for maybe eyeshadow, like a cream eyeshadow moment. So I'm going in with this like copper almost on camera or terracotta, I mean, but it's a little more purple. I wanna see how this looks as eyeshadow. Okay, I don't love it as eyeshadow, but I'm just gonna go ahead and fix it up a little bit, buff it out, see what I can do. Uh, maybe it's actually not that bad. I mean, it does look very patchy to me, but I also do want to try it and set the face as well. Like, I would really love to know how you guys feel about it, but I do want to set the face and see how that looks from there. I'm just going to take a powder puff and kind of just tap where I want it to be set and see how that looks. And I'm just going to go very lightly here because I don't want to set it too much because I still kind of want to have that dewiness to it. Wow, okay, now that I set the face, it looks gorgeous. I'm just gonna continue to tap with the beauty blender still to make sure everything's blended. But honestly, guys, I'm impressed. Ooh. Okay, so you cannot wipe powder onto this. I just tried using my Makeup by Mario brush to kind of wipe a little bit of powder and it kind of got rid of the product. Like you can see more pores here than here. So the way to go with this is to use a powder puff because the product does move around very easily. I don't love it as eyeshadow. It does look very muddy on the eyes, but for contour and bronzer, it looks gorgeous. And for foundation, it doesn't even cake either, which is so nice, but it's so weird because I don't love it as concealer. I don't know, it just doesn't really work for my under eyes. But at the same time, I do love my Charlotte Tilbury concealer and nothing can really turn me against that. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup off camera, then I'm gonna come back with my final reviews. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like in natural lighting. Wow, okay. I really love it, but I wanted to give you guys my final opinions on this. So I also went ahead and I used this shade right here for my lips. And it's really pretty. So it is a very diverse palette and you can use it for a whole bunch of things. However, I don't really see myself reaching for this. It looks stunning. The only thing is, is that with powder, you cannot use a brush. I tried to wipe my powder on with a brush and it did cause some separation under here, but it's not the biggest deal. You're just gonna have to use a powder puff with that. But I don't see myself reaching for this all the time. I don't know, like it's probably great for traveling and I guess that's like what the point of this is or just to have makeup that is very compact and just in one place. The foundation, it's kind of annoying having to color match and it is very time consuming because you guys already saw. Like it took me quite a while to get my foundation on. The concealer doesn't look amazing. It doesn't do a great job of hydrating my under eyes, but for the rest of my skin, it feels very dewy, looks hydrated. But for my under eyes, I just don't know why. It's almost more drying, which is weird because I use the same thing for concealer and foundation. I guess it's just because my under eyes are more dry. So if you guys have like drier under eyes, definitely take that into consideration, but it is not separating at all, minus the one brush thing I was telling you guys about. It looks very flawless and airbrushed almost. I only set a little bit of my face because I really wanted to show like the dewiness of this. The highlighter I feel like didn't really do much 
At first it was really pretty, very balmy and stuff, but now looking at it, you can't really tell that I have highlighter on. It's more just glowy because of how dewy and creamy this whole palette is. I honestly really love this palette in general. It's just, like I said, I don't see myself reaching for it. I have all of my makeup products in my vanity back there, and since everything is so compact, I definitely see the foundation and the concealer going way before the blush and all of that kind of stuff. I feel like, if anything, they should have made the palette a little bit bigger and made, like, the face shades more big and kept the highlighter and the blush as just this, but definitely make these a little bigger. I don't know, that's my opinion, but the palette is still amazing, definitely great for traveling. I 100% see myself bringing this with me if I don't want to bring all of my makeup products. But just for at home, I just don't think it's anything too insane. But I do love the formula of this. I do love how my face looks. It actually did wow me, but I'm like 50-50 about it. But for me, I like to switch between my makeup products. I like more variety and this is just like you're sticking to one thing. It does have that very natural, fresh looking glow. It looks very healthy, if you will. Would I say it's worth 88 bucks though? No. I don't know, I feel like they definitely could have priced this at like 70 and called it that, but I feel like almost 90 bucks for this, and this was like 94 plus tax, like 100 bucks for this is kind of crazy to me. I feel like 70 or 65 is a much more reasonable price. That's just me, that's my opinion. But anyways, you guys, I really hope that you all enjoyed this video, and if you like the single makeup review videos, go ahead and let me know, where I basically just make a video about one makeup product, and I just use that whole video to talk about one single item. I would love to know if you guys like that or if you don't like it. I would just love to know your input. But anyways, I love you all so, so much. I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day and I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye.